fulfillment. There is something you do for God that gives you fulfillment. I tell people, I said, if what bothers God bothers you, what bothers you will bother God. Life is a seed. He said, draw near to me. I will draw near to you. If what is bothering me, I am bothered that people are going to hell. If it bothers you, anything that bothers you will bother me. A woman testified the other day that she was having property to sell. The property couldn't be sold in millions, hundreds of millions or something like that. But she heeded the commandment to go out from the pastor to go and win souls. And as, while she was on the soul winning ground, that was where her breakthrough met her. Property sold, money flowing. Another young lady, well, well, we, we showed the testimony of one the other day on, on the screen. He said, he, he graduated, he had no job, no wife, no house, nothing. He decided to hit the road on evangelism. And while he began to do that, now he has a house, now he's working with the federal government, now he has a wife, has a child, his wife was one of the converts he won in the field. The opposite happened also. One of the sisters in church was transferred to Asaba for a, 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 an assignment. While she was there in Asaba, she still continued soul winning in the neighborhood and market area. And while he came to a young man, he met, immediately he met a young man. He said, I want to talk to you about Jesus. The man was already born again. The Holy Spirit told the man, that is your wife you have seen there. That is your wife. She kept talking. She said, okay, go ahead, keep talking. That was how she followed up the man. The man followed her up. <laughs> they returned to Abuja. Got she was preaching to her husband without knowing. Recently, um, Bishop Abioye's daughter, I think I have the right to say this, in her youth service camp, she was preaching to people and giving invitation to church and gave the invitation to a young man who was already a staunch member of Winner's Chapel. And she never knew her. I'm inviting you to the church. I want you to come and uh, join. I mean, God and the young man was looking at her. I said, okay, I will follow you to church. And followed her to church until he followed her to their home. <laughs> that is her husband. To the altar. Now they are married. Vibrant young firebrand brother. Trusting God to get married. And was not yet married. This young girl, even though the daughter of the bishop, went out and doing evangelism. And met her husband on the evangelism field. There are those praying for husband tire in church. The, that, that era has passed forever. I prophesy to somebody here, God is changing your story. I said God is changing your story. I said God is changing your story. Don't misunderstand me. That when you go out to win souls as a young man, that you are looking for a girl to marry. <coughs> because you may marry Wahala. All right? If God does not lead you that way, please don't, don't be. And then you don't marry just brand new, new convert who doesn't know anything. Please don't do that. I'm just, I'm just giving you how God met people's needs by going on assignment. Number, number seven now, is that right? Number eight is access to divine wisdom, creative ideas. He said, he that winners souls is wise. He that winners souls can't be a fool. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 30. The tree of the righteous, the fruit of the righteous, the tree of life, and he that winneth souls. Um, Apostle, one of the most important soul winning books I ever read was written not by a full time evangelist, was written by an, a, an American multi millionaire, if not billionaire, who was an evangelist, who was full-time businessman and yet winning souls on the field. Consult American presidents who consult him. I can't even remember his, the details of his, his details right now. But I read the book and he told the story in the book that 
while he's on business trip inside the airplanes and here and there, he will be distributing flyers, this preaching, and doing a number of things as a multimillionaire or billionaire in Nigerian terms. He said, while he's doing that, bam, business ideas. While he's doing that, strategies. While he's doing that, wisdom will explode. And business will explode. Because he that winneth souls is wise. 